Hello, today for math, we are gonna talk about something that you guys do really, really well with already. But it's always important that we keep practicing our uh, stuff so we continue to make our brains stronger and stronger and stronger. So today for math, we are going to talk about colors. And like I said, you guys are doing excellent with colors, but we always want to keep practicing. If you want to play soccer and be a soccer star, do you just play soccer one time until you know how to kick the ball? No, soccer stars, they practice all the time. So just like soccer stars practice soccer all the time, we're gonna keep practicing all of the things that we want to know in pre-K. So talking about colors again, I just want to show you and tell you the names of our colors before we start talking a little bit more about them. So let's start with this one. This color is red. This color is orange. This is yellow. This is green. This is blue. This is purple. This is pink. This is brown. This is black. This is white. And this is gray. Those are our colors and the names written out of those colors. So I'm gonna show them to you one more time, but I'm not gonna say anything. I want to see if you can say these color names. Are you ready? What color is this? What about this one? What about this one? And this one? What about this one? This one? How about this one? Do you know this one? This one? This one? How about this one? Were you able to say those color names? I hope so because you guys already showed me you know those color names. So great job. So when we're talking about colors, I just wanna remind you guys that colors are everywhere everywhere in the whole entire world. There are colors in school. There are colors at your house. There are colors outside. There are colors all over your clothes. There are colors everywhere in the world. So it's really fun to look around and see all the different colors in the world around us. So if I'm talking about my the colors of my clothes, I can tell you that I have a white shirt. But sometimes things aren't always just one color. Like my whole shirt is just white. A lot of times in the world around us, there are so many colors all mixed together. So I'm gonna show you a few objects and talk about all of the different colors that I see on those things. So this guy, He's a caterpillar. This caterpillar is not just one color. He is made up of lots of different colors. I see orange, green, yellow, bright green, blue, purple, and I also see that he has some pink on his some of his feet. This caterpillar is made up of lots of different colors. Even our food has different colors. Here's a bag of muffins. And on this bag, I see lots of colors. I see brown chocolate chips, brown muffins, a brown dog. I see some blue words and letters. I see some green on the ground and some white as well. So even our food and our packages of food have lots of different colors on them. Here is another toy that isn't just one color. It's lots of different colors. This is Jack-Jack. Have you ever seen this movie? And Jack-Jack is made up of lots of different colors. He has yellow hair, a black mask, blue eyes, and he's wearing a red outfit 
which also has black and yellow on it. So this toy, Baby Jack-Jack, is made up of lots of different colors. I have this fan, whew, for really hot days. Oh, whoo, whoo. Oh. But this fan isn't just made up of one color. I see three different colors on here. Can you see the three different colors I see? I see orange, I see gray, and I see black. Those are the three different colors I can see on this fan. So even in all of our different food objects and toys and books, there's lots of different colors we can see. So today for some of your activities, I want you to find some things around your house that are different colors. I can't wait to see what you guys find and have fun with our colors.